Hello, sidekicks. Today, we are going to do a video of Sophie getting her Dexcom CGM changed. Um, so, first, what we gotta do is we're gonna come on her phone, which is what she uses as her receiver, and you go to stop sensor. You can't see this, but I'm gonna stop sensor. It's right there. Trust me. Okay, stop session. And it's going to come up to the two hour warm up screen just like that. Then, so he's getting everything laid out and ready. I think you can turn around and face me. Oh, no. Okay. First, do you need to get the No, just pull it up. That's what it do. This sensor, as you can see, gave us a little bit of a run for our money keeping it on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to help so we can um, make sure. Yeah, it's like I know. Ow. That came off quick, didn't it? Yeah. It's like ripping a band-aid off. Only worse. Now we have to dig out our sensor. Um, now, the new sensor will have um this little thing I'll show you in a little bit to take out the transmitter on this to put into the new one however I have found that it's just as easy if not easier <clears throat> to take um on either side of the base right here and just pull it apart and it pops right out just like that and as you can see, she's got her little foxes on there with her leaves. This is this is one of my Jamberry nail wraps that I put on here. Okay, so where do you want it this time, baby girl? You want it on your stomach? Okay. Want me to lay down? Yeah, mommy's gonna cover up your underwear. Modesty on YouTube. Not very common. Okay, so we are going to take an alcohol prep pad. And as you can see, she gets some of the residue from the things. And we get that off just oh, as best understand. as we can. You want it on that side? Okay, we're going to take this. <laughs> and apparently, it tickles. <laughs> Over here, so y'all can see more what we're doing. Go on a ride with me. Okay, so we got our belly right here. <laughs> and this is from, I think this was where her Omnipod was. Which is, I'm almost gonna inspire. Yeah, it's almost time to change that too, but that's another video. Stay tuned for more information. On the Super Sophie's Sidekicks Dexcom and Omnipod change life in a day of Super Sophie for her diabetes. As we kick diabetes to us. Okay, so anyway, back to your previously suggested stuff. Okay, so what we do. After we clean it, is we have we use this stuff. It's called Skin Tech wipes, and it comes in a bottle. Um, but we've always just used the wipes. And what we'll do is we make a circle around. So if you don't touch that, a circle around where the um, sensor goes in, and th this part is where we want the um, the tape from her. Dexcom sensor to go. So it's just going to add a little bit more adhesive to the adhesive that's already on there. And then you stick to everything. Don't touch it. Don't touch. Not touch. You don't touch it. My mommy's hyper. I have to be hyper because I have to drink a lot of coffee to keep up with you. What? Yes. Do you love me? Do you love me? Okay, so this is the 
Dexcom sensor, her plunger. So what you're going to do first is you want to take off the sticky, or the back for the sticky. Carefully. I would take off the safety. No, yeah. you take off the safety last. You know that. She's being silly. But yes, you very carefully take off the paper because you don't want to waste it. Or you don't want to get this bunched up. It's kind of like tape. Well, technically it is tape. But like when you're wrapping paper or doing duct tape or anything like that, you don't want it to stick to itself. Otherwise, you have to cut a new piece. And this is not that simple. But anyway, we're going to look for the part that's not sticky, which is right here. And we push it. We put it down there ever so gently. Just like this. Okay. Um, now, okay. now we take off the safety. Go ahead, Sophie. There you go. All right. You want to pu push it in? Um, no. No? You want to help me? Okay. So for the first step is you pinch up a little bit, especially for um, where she's so thin and has very little meat on her stomach. You want to push up a little bit so it has more to go into. And then... It's not the... I mean, you, you squeeze, okay? There you go. Okay. Not so much, not so much, not so much. There you go. Okay. You put, Make sure you don't put your fingers here on the slip, this part, because this is the very last thing you're going to pull up. So you want to put your fingers above it right here. Push the white part in. Ready? One, two, three. Until you hear two clicks. And then you put your fingers down here, um, like you would on like a syringe. And you pull up again. Ready? One, two, three. Click, click. Two clicks. And that pulls the needle out. Now what you're going to do. Hold on, hold on, Sophie. Wait. Move your fingers. On either side of the plunger right here, there's the little squeezy things that I showed you. You're going to squeeze Father, those in. Just, okay. Squeeze those in. And then rock this piece out just like that. I just had to pull. I know. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to take another alcohol swipe. Thing, and clean the back of the transmitter from where it was in before. Because if you don't, it will have a little bit of, of wetness on it. Mm -hmm. Or, um, what's it called again? It just might be a little dirty. And while um, that's drying, I'll show you. This is what they give you. This is the safety that we pulled off. But this can also be used to take the transmitter out. You want to put it, push it down in there and push it through. And it'll pop the two sides. But like I said, it's just as easy to me. Just pull it on either side. But to each his own. Okay, so now what we're doing is... Hold on, hold on. You put the small side in away from this part right here. The part that wiggles right here. You put the small side away. And then, go ahead, Sophie. You're going to pull this, push this part up until it clicks into place. And you twist it. Just like that. And, done, and we're all done. And then what you're going to do is you take... Can I spit now? Yeah. It was kind of not comfortable. Sorry. Ugh. You'll take your... We use um, her iPad, iPhone, but it also, you also have a little transmitter just, thing that comes with it. Hold on. Hold it right here. And you're going to tap... The, go ahead, tap it. You're going to tap where it says two-hour sensor warm-up. Um, and her sen signal was lost before. But once it goes back into where um, it ranges, I'll show you in a minute once it does it. But it'll do a two-hour sensor warm-up. So in two hours, we're going to come back and um, ta or attach it and show you how you calibrate it. So we'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Adios. Okay, we are back now to do the um, second half of our video where we calibrate her sensor. So, Sophie, you take over, dear. Um, so, you put a strip in. Push it in a little bit. Strip in. Not that far. Put a strip in. Put a strip in. This is her poker, as she calls it, but it's a... Let's and see it well, but it's a genteel lancing device, and it's made so she can prick her finger, her hand, her arm, her leg. Um, just makes life a little bit easier for her. Um, Go ahead. It does not work. It does. You just don't like to do it anymore. She's just. 
right, come on, we gotta get this over with. Okay. Um, can you give me your hand? No, your, your finger's fine. She just washed her hand, so everything's fine. So, I'm gonna prick my finger. Hold it down. One, two, two three, four, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. And just straight up. Yeah, just the right amount of blood. Then take my meter. Then just kiss the blood inside. Don't hit your finger. You gotta do it twice. Okay, so her blood sugar is a little high, as you can see, because she was not, ate not too long ago, but we can still calibrate it. So what we'll do is we'll come to our phone, and it says tap to her first blood sugar meter. Give it a tap. And then it was 343. Save it. All right, now it's back to do it again. Now, a lot of people don't like to use alcohol wipes if they don't have to because you can, it can make you get um, wrong readings, but we Do tend we? to use them only, only when we have to. Um, but you have to make sure it dries completely. Otherwise, it can make you get, like I said, false readings, and that's one of the things you don't want, especially when you're calibrating a sensor. Anyway, continue, my love. I think I've got better one so far. It's fine. Now, we'll swing your hands around. Move like it just don't care. Wee jelly fingers, jelly fingers. Oh god. I know. She'll be fine for a minute. It dried completely. That doesn't mean touch my jelly fingers. Look at me. I'm gonna get her meter so you gotta do it twice. Um, because it wants to be sure that the number's right. So if you prick it two times and they're like a hundred points off, then you know something's wrong and you need to figure it out. Well, what's going on? Do, 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 do. Ready? Okay. Hang on, hang on. It's about to come up. So, again, you just do it like that. Mm -hmm. Do it like that. Just do it like that. Then you just test it right on the side again. Mm -hmm. Look at me from over here. Okay, so 328, which is really close to the other one, so that's pretty good. So we're going to come on here and tap. Let's make sure that number's right. You've got to get trying to do it backwards. 328. Save. Yep, and there we go. We're calibrated. Um, this sensor, they guarantee it for seven days. Um, and you have to calibrate it twice a day, every 12 hours, basically. Um, and that's to make sure the numbers are getting correct. Um, and it's a huge lifesaver for us. Um, we are still um, working on getting her a service dog, though. His name is Hero. And we already have him, but we're, we're still paying for his training and all this stuff. Right. Can you keep telling him? I will just keep telling him about him. And we take pictures with him when my sugar is low, low sometimes, right? Mm hmm This is a picture of Hero. Ta-da! And you can see that is our Instagram page, Super Sophie's T1D Journey, which also happens to be our Facebook page, Super Sophie's T1 Journey. So go on over to those pages and check us out. Check her out. Um, we're doing fundraisers and to raise money for her training. So if you feel led to, make a donation. And it, I'm my favorite Supergirl, and and they always call me Supergirl because my favorite at superheroes. Supergirl. Anyway, if you feel so led to make a donation, we would be very grateful. Um, you can make it to us via PayPal, which is paypal.me slash Thompson Q-U-I-V. I'll post it in the links. Or you can make it directly to the trainer who's helping us with the dog. It's, um, stop picking your nose, mm -hmm. www.miraclepaws.org. Um, 
and I'll also post that link in the bottom as well. But I hope y'all have a great night, and if you like this video, subscribe, 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 and give us a huge thumbs up so you can continue seeing me. Say bye, Sophie. Bye.